factor x squared plus 2xy minus 15y squared. I can definitely do that. Math it. I will math it. Sounds wonderful. That's my expertise. All right, so if you cut to my screen, I can show you what I'm working on right now. Um, I've written out, actually I was just given an expression, but I did make this an equation because when um, you factor uh, quadratics or polynomial um, expressions or equations, the purpose of it is usually to find solutions to it. And so I ended up making this an equation. However, when we factor something, and I'm going to show you a whole number example so that this isn't so confusing and algebra-like, but let's say I were factoring the number 24. I'm breaking 24 down into its smaller pieces, basically. Factors are numbers that multiply to equal that number. So if I were to factor 24, I'd be breaking it into smaller pieces. So I'd be breaking it into 3 times 8. And then I look at my pieces from there, and I decide, can I break it down anymore? Or is it in its, in its simplest form or prime? So in the case of 24, I can end up breaking it down to its smallest, to its smallest pieces by breaking it all the way to 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's me factoring a whole number. Now, um, back to this uh, polynomial expression that I was given, we want to factor that. We want to break it down into its smallest pieces. Not as simple as doing a whole number. However, it's still very possible. Um, we're breaking it down into two quantities that can multiply together to give us this expression that's here. Now, um, the first part of this needs to multiply together to give us this x squared. And so I'm going to break it into x and x because x times x gives me x squared. Now, if you look at the rest of your terms, your middle term has x in it and it also has y. And your last term has y squared. So what that means is our, our last terms on, um, in our factors have to include y. Because if they don't include y, then we aren't going to get this y showing up in our middle, our second, and our third term. So we have x, we have y, we've taken care of that. Now we need to look at the coefficient in front of our y. Um, the coefficient here is negative 15, which means the coefficients in front of y in my, in my factors need to multiply together to give us negative 15. So thinking about different things that can give us negative 15, we have 1, 15, and one of them would have to be negative, and we have 3 and 5. So those are our possibilities. Now the way that we choose is by looking at the coefficient of our middle term. So in this case, the coefficient of our middle term is 2. Our factors that we choose need to also add to give us that middle term of 2. Now if you look at our options, we have 1 and 15. There's no way that these are going to add or subtract to give us 2. And so because of that, these will not work. So we know it's going to have to be 3 and 5 because 3 and 5, we can add or subtract those to get us that 2. Now, the last thing that we need to consider is the signs. Are we going to do plus, plus, minus, minus, plus, and minus? How is that going to go? And so the way that we decide that is first by looking at the sign in front of that 15, so negative. So the only way to multiply two numbers together to give us a negative is to have one of them be negative and one of them positive. So we know we're going to have one negative and one positive. Now we just have to decide where they go. I mentioned earlier that the 3y and the 5y, they need to add up to give us this 2. And so to add to give us positive 2, what would have to happen is this 5 is going to have to be our positive number. And then our 3 is going to have to be this negative number. Now what we can do, um, so we factored it, what we can do to check our answer is to multiply them back together to see if we get the polynomial we started with. For example, when we factored 24, we ended up with 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. And if we wanted to check that, we would actually multiply those out to see if we got 24. Now we'll do the same thing with these um, with these binomials is we're going to multiply them together. And I showed you guys last week an area model, so we'll use the area model to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and write my terms. And we'll actually talk about the area model a little bit in more depth in Back to Basics as well. So if it's something that you're not understanding, we'll cover for sure a little bit later. 
So we have x times x is x squared. x times 5y gives you 5xy. Negative 3y times x gives you negative 3xy. And then negative 3 times 5y gives you negative 15y squared. And so when you are to actually combine these, putting your 5xy and your negative 3xy together, you end up getting your plus 2xy and then that minus 15y squared. So we factored correctly. This that I'm pointing to right now is the factored form of that polynomial expression. So I hope that that helps.